hello 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 this is Frida welcome to my channel okay I am going to do part three <laughs> I just couldn't let it go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this cotton rope which I bought it from Dollarama and I am going to add this to make a rug these I cords that I have knit okay so to do that uh, I'm going to start with this, the cotton rope, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so please bear with me. This is my first tryout, so I just need to figure out how to make a rug with those eye cords that I've been knitting nonstop. Okay, I'll be right back. So I'm going to use the same method uh, as I did to do it around. And uh, I didn't cut this part maybe I should yeah uh, this is the trick that I found from uh, crafty patty on YouTube so she what she does is she tapes and uh, that's how she does it even when she's uh, she's joining the the robes as well so I'm going to go like this all the way around four times that's what she does so here's two here's three as tight as I can And here is four. And then what she does is she pins them like this. Oops, I am way down. Just like this, it's getting. Then I believe she does it this way as well. Can't remember. I only washed it once. And I thought the others were very complicated because they're not showing every detail. But she does take her time. Okay, so I'm going to secure this. And one, two, three, maybe one here. like this okay okay I'm going to use the same blue thread oh okay here we go let's try it uh, oops so I'm gonna go between and I will remove the see it let me just go a little bit high okay here we go need to move one of the needles and uh, Taking its uh, precious, precious time. Okay. okay. I'm gonna move this one as well. I don't want to break the needle, so I'm just going as slow as I can. Let me see if I can move this a little bit. Okay, 
so I'm gonna go back and then come back again this way and then I'm going to remove the third one and then and then go back oops <laughs> it's separated okay we don't want that this and I made the cross as you can see oh I could put this a little bit higher okay so I'm just gonna go as slow as I can and I'm going to turn it a bit and I'm going the opposite way just need to secure this part the I cord on the I cord not the I cord the uh, the rope oh uh, it's not working I did it draw I think okay I'm gonna come and secure this part as well okay to do that So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, remove this, and flip it. Unfortunately, the rope has to be on this side, and it's on the other side. And yet to do that, this is how you can do it. <laughs> okay, this uh, foot keeps on going down. Let me fix it. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have flipped it. Now I'm going to start sewing, but I'm going to change the I cord. Let me just do a couple of, uh, just like this. See how easy it goes with the rope? missed it again you can go and fix that that would be no problem at all okay so I'm going to put the I cord right there and hopefully this would work I don't know I have to just try it right you need to try it with errands and then you can have it fixed hopefully okay so let's see this one so I'm gonna squeeze in this fellow here and hopefully cross your fingers hopefully this would work haha Yeah, 
I need to do slow. from here okay, I'm gonna come down to this fellow here okay and hopefully this would work <laughs> This one, the I-cord is soft compared to the rope, but I just had to try it. Or what you can do is you can uh, sew these together and then work. Maybe that would be way easier. I don't know. It's just, it's just a try out with errors, right? So, um. But I think it's turning out good. What do you think? Yeah. And this has to. Be. And I'm doing it as slow as I can. I just got an idea. What I can do is I can squeeze this in between. Let me try that one as well. I'm just going to cut this because we're done with this. It's already sewed and secured. Lots of... Uh... Okay. Let me try that other method. So this is going to be a little bit difficult because the bigger it becomes, right? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to this around let's try this like uh, having a yarn between this isn't a yarn but it's uh yeah it's soft enough like this let me see if i can do it hmm. Yeah, but it doesn't go in between. Oh, let me go back. Because there's going to be a gap. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't like it. It gives that small zigzag effect. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll just go around on this one. Just like I did. It is flat, as you can see. Okay, I'm going to go uh, continue working on this because uh, it's going to take a while and I don't want to sew this See, this is getting tangled.
I really like this. What do you guys think? Let me do a couple of uh, rows and I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm getting so excited. Okay, I just wanted to show you how it looks like. So what I'm going to do is, after finishing this, I am going to sew two, like, instead of one at each at a time, I'm going to do two of the rope and one of the I-cord. Two of the rope, one of the I-cord. So that will make it more straight. Because I notice, more flat, I mean, more flat. I notice because this is being empty, like it's soft. It's, it feels like it's a, a thick yarn. That's what it feels like. So what's happening is uh, it's giving that bump. Can you see? But it's way better than the ones that I did already attempt. See, it becomes a bowl. <laughs> but uh, if I do that technique after finishing this, that's what I'm going to do. I will do two rows of this and one row of this. And then it will become more flatter. Okay, so uh, I hope you like this. Uh, uh, I don't know what you call this. It's not a tutorial. It is what I am going through and then my experience and, uh, and giving you feedback. But I would highly recommend. It's so fun. It's unbelievable fun. But it does flatten up. See, when you press on it, when you step on it, I'm sure it's going to be a nice rug. So uh, I can't wait to finish this, but uh, like I said, I'm going to do two rows of the rope and one of the yarn. And then we'll go from there and you can see the finish look on my Instagram page. Yeah, you guys take care and I'll see you on my next tutorial. On my next tutorial, I'm going to do crochet uh, these using a crochet hook. So stay tuned for that. I don't have a tutorial for that uh technique so i will come back to show you but i just love this and my machine is pretty hot it's like here i can feel it like i said i don't want to burn it uh, burn the motor so uh yeah at, at least this is not becoming a bowl <laughs> it will flatten up i'm sure it will because this this part being soft it's curling up so if you want to make eye cord you can definitely make containers, bags, laundry baskets, because it turns fantastic. Look at it. Think about it. Yeah, definitely. Baskets, containers. Yeah, this would be perfect. See? And it's nice and soft. And it just doesn't uh, lose its shape. Yeah, but I'm really happy with this, and I really like how the colors turned out. So, uh, yeah, there's no wrong, there's no, uh, I think this is the bottom part, yeah. This is the way I was, uh, but actually it was this way, wasn't it? A little bit confused, well, whichever. So I hope you liked this uh, video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do, it, this is art. Like, come on, isn't this art? <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this. There's uh, some spaces I missed, but that's no problem. It's the knit area, yeah. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Share it with your family and friends, and don't forget to hit that notification button. So every time I post a new video, you will be notified, indicating there's something new for you to watch. Take care, happy knitting, happy crocheting, happy sewing. Bye-bye. I love this. Look at the color. <laughs> Can you hang it on your wall? <laughs>